Minute Maid Park in Houston. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Houston Astros. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Mickey Mantle, always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the play, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Guys like that, you, you may think, well, they're elite game. pitchers that are pitching the sub twos, base. they're dominating, Lee but Lee. when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year, opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. Everything right, came right, together right. perfectly for right, him right, right there. Right. The ball absolutely wow. jumped off so the good. bat on that swing. Kind of made my eyes light up. And the data we're getting doesn't disappoint in the slightest. 116 miles per hour exit velocity. I tell you what, that will do the job. And now it's Juan Soto. Hard ground ball base now. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. And now the lefty. Ball. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Judge out on the play. And there's one down. That is it. The center field is on the second. Mickey. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. And a big part of it, a guy with a great track record, Giancarlo Stanton. Well, he's just been a consistent and dominant power threat throughout his career. I mean, over 400 career home runs. I mean, that just doesn't happen to an average power hitter. This guy's been elite, and we'll see as he continues uh, if he's going to make it into the pitcher's town and make a ball play. Yeah, the batter down. Mickey Mantle. Two on, one out. That one missed. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And on the mound in this one, Nestor Cortez Jr. What do you have on him, Chris? Yeah, ZRA last year was worse than average, so definitely be looking for right better here. results this season. One of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Next offering misses, ball two. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, 
getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from at bat to at bat. And he deals. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. 1-1 one, one now. Good eye in that spot. The pitch. Run around the move. That one fouled off. And here it comes. Still two and two after the foul ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Out to short. Volpe. Off balance feed. There's one. On the first save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Don't play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. He had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Step off, throw to first. Pena gets back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. At the belt and fires. And yep, another four. ball. Pena leads off first with one away. Good plate yep, appearance four, there. Four. Able to take the walk. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep in the ball game. It's not going to hurt for the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out three bases at this rate. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And a 2-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Here comes a pitch. Swung on, belted. and right there made a statement big time. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the fresh shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Digging in, Chaz McCormick. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's a one-two. Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. Got him. Oh. Inning over on the strikeout. Jose Altuve goes yard for the Astros. It's now 3-0. Major League Baseball is on the show.
Top of the second. Leading now up is the Yankees DH, the Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. There's a swing and a drive. McCormick going back on this one. Bangs off the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. And here is Anthony Rizzo. The pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Stan at second with nobody out. Up the middle, Pena. And they tag him out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. One away with a runner at third here in the second game of the series. And that one is inside. That clips the zone. And now two and two. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summers Gill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Got him looking. And there's two away. Well, just ripped a page out of the Greg Maddox playbook. Throw that pitch at the hip and just watch it jump back over the inside part of the plate. Tell you what, you are baffled expecting that to almost hit you and then end up as a called strike. Kicks and fires. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two outs. Base hit and a run into score. Gets him a little closer in this one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out fine. Ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Jose Trevino. In the air, right field. And that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit, and this is now a three one ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom half of inning number two. Now here's the Astros designated hitter, Mauricio Dubon. And a foul ball. One, two now. That one is absolutely belted. was looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of this ballpark 
Jose Abreu up to hit. Just kept it simple. Up. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and yeah, took it back where it came from. And yeah. there's just no one there to knock it down. And at first, Yainer Diaz up next for the Astros. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. Is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The right fielder, number 30. So the batting order turns over. Now at the plate, Kyle Tucker. Pitch. Whoa, and another ball. Pitch out. And for a strike, and it's two and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game okay. yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one right there. Sure They've really got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Yeah. Abreu, the runner at first with two gone. That one ball. off the mark and a count two and one. Two balls, one strike. That's towards center. Settles under this one. That is the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 4-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. On to the third Leading inning. Off Here's Glaber Torres. The second base. Glaber Torres. Torres. Bounced up the middle. Altuve gathers and throws to first. And Glaber Torres retired. One Soto. Here's Juan Soto. One out, base is empty. I thought this was a fun note on Soto. In 2023, he hit home runs in Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. I don't think it matters where Soto plays. He's going to hit home runs everywhere he goes. Now, back Anytime back. you rip a line drive the other Here way, you feel really go good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's a 2 1. On the ground to first. Fair ball. Soto round second, heads for third. Lead runner holds it third, so two runners in scored position and just yeah, one out. Back to back base hits. He was definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get me. Got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. Second and third, one gone. Mickey Mantle stepping in now for the Yankees. And this Three one squirts away from the catcher. 
but all the runners hold. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Helpful. Fights it off, he'll see another. Second and third, one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Slice to right, and that's just foul. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. It doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep. Now Tuve handles it, sends it to first. Now two away as they get a run across. Now that the designated hitter, Giancarlo. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Oh, that helped. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Two outs. Wouldn't Three chase goal. that time. Swing and a miss. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. And they take care of Stanton for the out. They limit the damage here. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Astros four and the Yankees two. Back here in Way Houston, oh, set for the bottom of the third. Now no it's Jordan left. Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez. Ball two. The wind and the pitch. Ball that's upstairs. The pitch. Clips the corner, three and two now. And that one hammered. And it's a raging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to chop that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. And a pitch. Gets the call. And a count one and two. Makes the grab. Two down. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. Yeah, okay. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Two outs, bases empty. Here's the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. Two down, nobody on. Ball two. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Mantle flying after this one. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. And into second easily with a two-out double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Fastball pretty much middle middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Man in scoring position with two away. And now it's Alex Bregman. That's a strike. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. on second two down just missed the inside corner two and two
McCormick at second with two down. And that one upstairs. Mauricio Dubon would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. And it's second. High fly ball out towards left field. Judge going back on it. They extend their lead. Some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Anytime you smoke the ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. Man at second here with two away. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Kicks and deals. That's oh. down and in. Two outs and one in scoring position. On the ground right side. Torres fires over to first. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Astros pick up a run on the RBI double. It's 5-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. Leading John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the Anthony fourth, Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. The 1-1. One, one. To the right side. And it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit. But sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. So, man aboard. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. The Yankees trailing by three. Top half of inning number four. Line drive, base hit. Alvarez whips it in quickly, and it's now first and second to start the inning. Back-to-back -back singles, pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Two and one now, two aboard. Swing and a miss as he was out front. <laughs> Squirts away a little bit. Well done behind the dish. Payoff pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. First and second here. No outs. Swings here and blasts one left field. Alvarez going back on it. And gone. A laser to left. His first homer of the year, and we are starting over. It's 5-5. That's a game changer right there. A big time swing, and we're all tied up. Keep a curveball on the inside part of the plate. You have to keep your mechanics really simple in order to keep it fair. The thing I noticed there was how extremely quiet he was. And then all of a sudden, boom. Now here is Jose Trevino. There's a strike at the knees. And the count is one and two. to kick the pitch and Two another ball just off the outside corner full count now
reach out there. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. Could be extra bases, and that rolls into the corner. Rolls to second. Not in time. He's safe. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Juan Soto now. Two one. In the dirt. And the runner stays where he is. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Next Ray offering ball. is downstairs. Ray. And at second. Hey. Swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. It's Aaron Judge now. They've been so good about responding when the other team scores, coming back in the next half inning and putting something on the board themselves. Two outs. And Judge spoils that one. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Runner at second, two down. And a pitch. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. You're having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And he deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Man on second, two down. And now the count and filled up three and two. And now the lefty keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. About to see the 11th pitch of the at bat here. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Payoff pitch. So now no, two on no, no. and two outs. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. You know, Book, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Go ahead, run on base. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Mickey Mantle.
two outs. But the base runners at first and second. situations call it clutch if you want but his resume speaks for itself manager out of the dugout now and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound Framber Valdez won't go any further and this is one he'd like to forget back with a new arm after this a new pitcher in the game Brandon Belak well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Here's Stanton now. Another ball. Judge, the lead runner at second. Mantle at first, two out of the inning. And that one is lifted in the air. McCormick trying to get there. He's got it. And that is that. So nine batters come to the plate. Four of them score. And midway in the fourth, Yankees six. And the Astros five. Bottom of the fourth, go, and go, stepping go, in for the Astros, Jose the Abreu. Base, the one ball. Abreu. Swing and a miss as he was late. One ball, two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's a one-two. Comes up and empties. He chases that one in the dirt. Up with it. Fires the first. Oh, got him. One away on the strikeout. Now got him. Kept it. Yainer Diaz. Yeah. Up next for the Astros. A wind of the pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle Tucker. Back to the top of the lineup, here's Kyle Tucker. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Hammered on the line to the left, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Just so sound in his mechanics. It's against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. At the play, Jeremy Pena. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Out and miss. Struck him out. And that's the inning. So the Astros lead one. Still a tight ball game. It's 6-5. Ready now for the fifth inning. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And a 1-1. It's a base hit. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. There's the high knee past him. That's 
a strikeout. Typically, that high fastball, if it's yeah, close to the top of the strike yeah. zone, a hitter he's prepared for it can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Fastball in for a strike. Now what a two. Rizzo at first, one gone. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. That misses. Now two and two. Strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch. I put up the lead on single. Back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner off, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Jose Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game really good athlete and many times you talk about you know the feet of infielders this catcher as well really quick feet he's able to recognize the pitch see the trajectory and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop throw stops the lead runner at second two on and two out now second base. here is Glaber Torres And the pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. Two on, two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. And the swing and miss. That ends the frame. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound Ian Hamilton still pretty early in the ball game so this bullpen has some work ahead of them best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs no, kind of breaks the game yeah, he's he's on the over right handed reliever and Good another ball, ball. Left-hand batter waits. Chop back up the middle. Volpe. The throw to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. And such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Home team down a run. Last half of inning number five. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to now remind I'm yourself it's field. about the process. Yeah. He did everything right right Man. there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. And there's a ball. Activity in the bullpen. Victor Gonzalez getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Canely warming up as well.
And now two and two. Okay. Alex Bregman waiting to hit for Houston. And the right-hander deals. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter or two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Way out front for strike two. Leads off first with two down to the inning. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. That one missing inside. Mauricio Dubon up next for the Astros. Side, and that is ball four. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are yeah, yeah, free passes, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. in spots like this. Oh, yeah. Make the team earn their way. Oh. Mauricio Dubon digs in now. The Astros down by a run here in the second game of the series. And fouled off. to the play that one to first Rizzo he takes it himself oh. to the bag and that'll do it so they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning five innings complete Yankees six and the Astros five all set for the we top of the six now it's the right, the right fielder right Juan Soto Juan. Soto Righty delivers. Ball, that's outside. Left hand hitter waits. That one fouled off. Two and two. That to right. Tucker should have it. One away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Aaron Judge at the plate. And the righty deals. That one is upstairs. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Swings through that one for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Three and two. One down, base is empty. Three. And down on strikes. And there's two down. Boog, he was shopping at the buffle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was oh, just okay. nasty. Hey, hey, hey. The center Mickey, Mickey Mantle, Mickey. Mantle Mickey. the next to hit. Mantle. Mantle.
crosses to first, and that is the inning. Nothing across here this half. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. Yankees six, and the Astros five. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Tommy Canely. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. And another ball. Right-hander kicks deals. Okay. And delivers outside. Yainer Diaz waiting to hit for Houston. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Belton fires. And he can't come up with it. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first down. Here's the catcher, Yainer Diaz. The Strohs trailing by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. That one close ruled the ball. Three and one. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Victor Gonzalez appears to be getting loose. The pitch. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The right fielder. So next, Kyle Tucker. Tucker. Diaz, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. Ground ball left side could be two. On the second, they get one, and that's two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Here in Houston, John Carlos Stanton at the plate. Leading off the Yankees, the designated hitter, John Carlos Stanton. Just off the inside edge. Action in the pen down there. Ryan Presley up and loosening in the pen. Montero, the hard throwing right hander, up as well. The pitch. That nope. one misses, and a count is three and one.
back up the. Oh, that got him. Off balance beat. There's one. Over to first. Yeah, safe. Definitely some concern here. That ball came back and got her right on the pitching arm. As you can see, you're trying to shake it off. And if nothing else, you worry about her getting some dead arm and losing some feeling. But from what I can tell, I think they're going to let her continue. And that's a really good sign. The batter, the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe. Man at first, one away. And the next pitch is way outside. That one missed. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. One run game. One out. One on. Ooh, swing and a miss. The hat trick. Now two away. Simply said, this guy's now flailing at the plate right now. He just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Here's DJ LeMayhew. He really made his presence felt back in the fourth inning of this one, Singy. Absolutely. Three-run blast and a shot of energy for his teammates. Everyone in that dugout is pretty fired up. McCormick racing over to make the catch. The Yanks lead one as it remains a 6-5 ball game. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Scott Efros. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Well, one go. run Let's game, and stepping in for the That's Astros, Jeremy Pena. Pena. Looking to get the tying run on base. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. So next up for Houston, you're Don Alvarez. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. pitch LeMayhew fires across the diamond and yeah, they get the out on Alvarez that's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game it might not be the most challenging we've seen today but it needed to be made that's helping your team we'll say Altuve up to it here Swing and a miss. Two. And a count one and two. One ball, two straight. Two down, nobody on. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Two outs. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Two two now. LeMayhew is there. Sends it across the first. And the Astros put down in order. Offense held a check there. Eighth inning coming up. Yankees six and the Astros five. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ryan Presley. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. 
Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game and stepping in for the Yankees, Jose Trevino. And the pitch. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Tucker reaching back towards the wall. And that one is gone. His first homer of the year, and they add a run. It's 7-5. A little more breathing room is always a good thing in baseball, and now they have it. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Labor Torres up to the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. Juan Soto stepping in now for the Yankees. The 1-1. One -one. He swings and fouls one off. One out, base is empty, and a run in, and we're at the top of the eighth. And he deals. And that's outside. That one ripped. That's back there. Say goodbye to that one. He hammers one out to right. Second home run of the inning for him. It's 8-5. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. When a guy's got a pretty nasty slurve out there, you've got to have really good pitch recognition at the plate. That way you can commit to it early, get the barrel there, and do some damage. New pitcher on now, Rafael Montero. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Yeah, the hard-throwing righty trying to secure these outs against a potent Yankee lineup, but it starts with Aaron Judge. Last ball for a strike. One ball. Gonna count one and two. two. Two runs across in the inning here in the second game of the series. Hey. Swing and a miss struck him out. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Mickey Mantle. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. That one's in there, and it's one and two. And that's the strikeout looking. Fastball the letters throws it for strike three. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now an 8-5 ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Jonathan Loisica. 
back here at Minute Maid Park, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And the stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. McCormick. And a pitch. And yeah, there's a ball. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Clay Holmes getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Ferguson, a left-hander, also throwing. Check swing, no appeal. Next pitch in for a strike. And a full count now. Setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and lead off batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a hard strike before he takes the back of the Here's Alex Bregman. Line to left. Brings it in. Up next, the designated hitter. So now the Astros designated hitter, Mauricio Dubon. Here's a 1 1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. And it's even up. Righty to the plate. Bows it back with two strikes. Here comes a 2 2. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance speed, there's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Nothing doing here this half. Great full. It's the Yankees eight and the Astros five. We go to the ninth, and now is the Yankees the DH, DH, Giancarlo Stanton. Stanton. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And a base hit up the middle. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. Man at first. And now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Side. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. And That's now two and two. Two two to count. Three. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And a strikeout. 
on for the first out here in the night. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. Two on, one out. And they'll do it again. Right there. Two ball, two Yankees strikes. up by three here at the top of the night. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. Two on, two outs. Now this is in the air down the line. And that drops foul. Righty delivers. Just missed. Glaber Torres waiting to hit for the Yankees. Right-handed reliever. And that one popped to short. Hauls it in to end the inning. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. 8-9-1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Yankees eight and the Astros five. Back now and on the mound, the closer, Clay Holmes. A chance at his first save of the year. Leading off, Leading Jose off. Abreu. Astros. The first base. Jose Abreu. Right hander kicks deals. And we're back up the middle and it gets through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout. The players pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. Now the catcher up to hit, Yainer Diaz. through the swing for the line drive base hit. So the Houston lineup turns over. And now it's going to be Kyle Tucker. The tying run at the plate. Another drive. That's a base hit. One runs in. The second scores as well. It's now 8-7. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good work to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. So a change being made at first base. On the pinch run for Houston, Jake Myers. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. One run game, bottom nine. And he bunts, but that's foul. Strike two. And now it's one and two. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, out, three. And they turn the double play. 
as a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Astros down to their last out. And next to hit for Houston, you're Don Alvarez. And here it comes. That misses. Two and one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. That one pulled foul. The Astros down to their final strike. Two down, nobody on. Hit on the ground to the right side. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Well, even though these guys got the win and this guy got the save, you can tell he's a little dejected. Not the performance that he wanted, giving up a couple of runs. But in the end, you've got to be happy that you got the W. The team can go in the clubhouse and celebrate this victory. And a final, 8-7. to seven. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Our final Our line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, eight runs on 18 hits. No errors. They left 11 runners on base. For the Astros, seven runs on nine hits. No errors. They left seven runners on base. Time of the ball game. Four hours and.